Hey everyone, and welcome back to another one of my deck guides. For today, I'll be taking you through a square tail list. The leader ability that we have to work with is Deadeye Ambush. This allows us to spawn an Elven Deadeye in an allied row, this token unit that you see here. We have three charges of this. We're really looking to save leader just at the end of a match for extra points, but it's good to keep in mind that you can use it to synergize with Yaven. Um, so obviously, you know, when you when there's elf units stacked on a row, Yaven will pay off with greater damage. Keep that in mind. And obviously you can use the units to synergize with Isengrim 2 for a greater overall boost on the board. The stratagem that we're using is Anshe Saber. Um, so basically we're just spawning this unit that you see here. There's going to be two of these units. And this just gives us a quick activation of our scenario card. And if our units get damaged down, we can obviously use this to transform them, get some value back out of that. So this is an anti-control deck. This meta is really heavy on control. So I've built this deck at this time in a specific way to combat that. And the results have been great, great winning streaks with this deck because obviously our unitless theme that we're going with in round three um, negates any control your opponent has. But what I'm going to do now is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, we've got the bomber unit that you see here. On deploy, you just damage two random enemy units by two. This is a nice way to help you set up waylay. Perhaps you damage something down to put it in waylay range. This is a card you'd like to play round one in combination with scenario to help get points and round control. Then we've got two Venosil's Commandos. These are just passive points that we have in the deck. Um, as long as we have Elf units, they're going to be boosting up. So maybe Nilfgaard matchups could be a bit tricky because they could put a Spy on your side of the board, stop these units from boosting. I haven't really had that trouble though with this deck, um, to be honest. Once again, these are just nice first round cards. Use them to activate scenario. Passive points is always nice to have. Then we've got two bowmen. Damage an enemy unit by one for each row that separate, separates it from this unit. All you gotta know is for max value, you wanna target your opponent's unit that's based on the ranged row, and you wanna play this card on the ranged row for it to do three points of damage. This seems to be real nice for waylay once again. Um, play this as like a final activator as you go into waylay, usually sets it up pretty nicely. We're seeing a lot of um, you know, graveyard plays with Skelliger self wound decks, um, some monster decks too. And uh, yeah, we could take away a lot of value from a number of different decks as well if they play echo cards. So Squirrel seems to be a nice fit. Banish a card from your opponent's graveyard. This is a card usually you're going to play on the dry pass in round two or perhaps late in round one because. All we're really about with this deck is winning round one, passing round two, and going into a long round three. Then for the remaining bronze units, we've got the Elven Sword Master. Damage an enemy by one. It's a row locked unit for the melee row. So whenever we're playing an elf, decrease cooldown by one. So, you know, this card will play very well because we're playing a, an elf deck, really. And um, just play them out round one with scenario. In, in combination with your other elf units preferably first because of the way it works with the cooldown then we're going to get into our traps we've got two incinerating traps um, you can play it on the spring but optimally we want to play this on the ambush so when your opponent plays a unit and you leave this on the board it will damage it by five you can get some you can get some good kills on mages at the moment with this card i find so just try to time this well um, what I'll say about all our trap cards is that we're really looking just to save them for round three. Round one's our unit strategy, and then we're going unitless for round three. So try not to spend traps as much as possible round one. And as far as the sequencing of traps goes, um, obviously consider your opponent's deck and how you know them to play that kind of deck. But usually you could open up with incinerating trap as your first ones. Then I've just got Nature's Rebuke in here for a bit of control. This this still fits good round three if you miss a trap and come around to this. You can still use it to damage something down, kill something off. Um, yeah, just five points of damage. 
We've got double crushing trap in here. We're looking to play this on the ambush too, like most of our trap cards. Crushing trap is a trap that you're going to look to play as late as possible um, at the very end, just before playing Eldane. These are the latest traps to play because the idea is that we're playing Sabertooth Tiger in this deck. And by playing Tiger, your opponent's going to use their common sense, try to avoid damage from it by row stacking. And then we ambush them into a big crushing trap. Um, you know, lots of damage with this, really. Then we've got Pitfall. Pitfall is a pretty interesting card, and it'll pay well depending on, you know, how switched you switched on you are with your opponent's deck and how well you know their plays, as I said. Uh, because on that ambush, it could give a lot of damage, splitting damage equal to the provision cost of a card played between all enemy units. So, you know, if you leave this on ambush and your op opponent plays in Neuromancy, that's going to be like 13 points of damage across their side. It could be real fun and big payoffs, as, as I said, or you could use it for the spring. You know what I mean? Similar to how you use a Serpent Trap. If you see a six powered unit on your opponent's side of the board and that's all they have, you can just play this for the spring and you kill it because it's all that's over there. Yaven, um, we are looking to use this to secure round one because it's very imperative with our deck. We have a very high win rate if we secure round one because getting bled is terrible with traps for lack of um, tempo that we have. So this allows us to damage an enemy unit by the number of elf units in this row. What I'd say is um, get in the habit of row stacking all of your units and all of your traps in this deck. Row stack your traps because Eldane will transform them into the token elves. So you could still play Yaven late round three if you've come across him and you didn't use him round one. But don't don't be shy to commit him round uh, one if you really need to as well. Like I said, we're pretty comfortable doing that. Serpent Trap's got to be one of the best traps just for its spring ability. It allows you to destroy the enemy unit with the lowest power. So, you know, as your opponent goes first, they might play Defender. You could just... Put Serpent Trap down, um, kill it off, one hit, great value. Or if your opponent's going first and they stratagem something, you know, Crystal Skull, um, they boost something up, you could commit Serpent Trap if you like round one. I think that's still reasonable and could put you in a situation where you win on even because, you know, doing that in combination with scenarios, a lot of points to contend with. Um, if you know your opponent plays specials like Skellige, um, you know, Battle Trance, and they've got their leader, that's a special. You could really wait till your opponent's got some like really high boosted units on the board and play this late and don't play it for the spring, play it for the ambush. With Isengrim, play him the same as Yavin. You're comfortable to commit him round one, but you know, if you come across him um, going into a long round three, keep him because there's a lot of points with Eldane. Boost all other allied elf units by one. Whenever you play an elf, boost self by one. Yaven and Isengrim are like cards that you commit towards the end of playing all your bronze units out in round one. And then, as I said, you just keep them if you didn't spend them. Hold on to them. Go into a long round three of them. And then after you've played all your traps out, then you're going to start to look to set them up. Maybe you're going to go um, Eldane a bit early than usual so you can play Isengrim and Yaven out. Eleron's very consistent in our deck because we always got a ton, ton of elf units. If you don't get to thin Eleron round one with scenario, you'll definitely get it uh, playing Eldane, transform, transforming all the traps into token units. It just summons itself from the deck to the melee row. Just keep that in mind. So it's nice tempo and thinning. Then we've got Hattori. Create and play a trap card from your starting deck. Um, you know, Hattori is really nice. Usually you'd like to go for an extra Serpent Trap with Hattori, but maybe if you play him late, you can get a Crushing Trap. That could pay off pretty big too. We're looking to play Hattori over the round three. Obviously, it gives us an extra trap, so more payoff for Eldane. Then we've got Yorveth. Return an ally trap to your hand, then play a trap. You know, obviously, if your opponent plays a unit... Um, and it's a defender, you serpent trap it, let's say, and then they play another good unit. You could play Yorveth, get the serpent trap and replay it and spring and kill another unit if you like. Pretty flexible. All you can do is replay um, traps with this card, basically. Keep it for round three, just like a Tori. Sabertooth Tiger's great. 
it gives us guaranteed points that cannot be removed through damage. Although a card like Heat Wave could get rid of this. Uh, transform self into Sabertooth Tiger Stealth. This one you see here. So this does two points of damage to your opponent's units if they're alone on their rows. Okay. So usually when we go into round three, this would be like an opening card for us. And then we start playing traps out. So at the end of a match, obviously you're not going to click the order to transform into this because then you lose points. So just leave it unclicked, right? Don't make that mistake. Because in, in its artifact form, we don't have points, okay? Royal Decrees just to give consistency um, in a number of ways. Consistency, especially for Eldane, because that's a very big part of our trap payoff at the end of a match. Um, in another way, it gives you consistency to go into Avalok Sage. So say if round one, you didn't get Feign Death, you could still go Decree into Sage and still get Feign Death because it's so important for round control. So yeah, we already talked about him. Avalok Sage, play him on the range throw, play an artifact from your deck. He's an elf, so he fits with um, the synergy of the units we have in this deck. And also he's extremely consistent because look how many artifacts we have. We've got a lot of artifacts with the traps we're playing. But in particular, we're using Avalok Sage round one to play into Feign Death because you want to thin. He's in here for thinning, so you got better access to your cards as you play on. But also for access to Feign Death, it's very important that we get that round one. So like your first move really would be optimally um, Avalok Sage into Feign Death. If you find you got Feign Death in your hand round one, just shuffle it back in the deck as long as you got Sage with you, okay? Then Eldane's um, going to give us a lot of points at the end of a match. Transform all your face-up traps into Elven Deadeyes. This token that you see here. We're really looking to play uh, Eldane at the very final turn that we have. But, you know, like I said, that's going to depend if you've got cards like Yaven and Isengrim in your hand round three. Obviously, you play him a bit earlier then. And then Feign Death is a round one card just to ensure round control. Uh, it's, it's very important that we get round control, as I said. Just play your bronze units out to trigger it and try to time your waylay value well with this card. So that's a rundown of the list. Now I'm going to explain the strategy in terms of having an optimal hand during a match. So round one, you'd play Avalak Sage into Feign Death. And then, you know, you, you click Saber, you activate it. You end up thinning out Eleren and then you play, um, let's say perhaps a Bowman or Bomber to set up your waylay. And then you just play your bronze units out, right? If you get pushed really hard round one, you'd go as far as committing Yaven and Isengrim, but that should really do it. Uh, most of the time you just win with the bronzes. What you do round two is you just look to pass and we're just looking for a long round three. If your opponent's got something good in their graveyard, go ahead and throw this out round two before going into the long round three. And then over a long round three, you can open up with Sabertooth Tiger. And then what you're going to do is you just play all your trap cards out. And Eldane will be usually the final play you have depending on the hand you have. Okay. So this is the deck, my friends. Please share your comments down below. And good luck to you with this. So they lose a lot of value against us. So yeah, let's we'll see how we go with it. Definitely don't want traps round one. Yes, good. Traps is for our second part of the play. It's more of a two round deck more than anything. We need some more bronzes. The hand's a bit more trap heavy than we'd like it, but that's probably okay. We could work with it. Yeah, we'll just go straight into this. Straight into this activation. Nice. It's always good tempo going scenario first round, I find. Especially with that stratagem, it feels good. It's very nice. So what we really want to do is just win round one, pass, and then go long round three, full of tactics. Um, well, I should say traps, sorry. It's a bit late here. <laughs> Full of traps. 
and then our opponents lose value, right? Because they got no targets. So we're looking to play it. This sets up Whaley. I think this is fine. Yeah, good. Uh, this most likely dies, but see what happens with it. So they're doing some crossbowmen kind of thing. They're probably doing pikemen, right? If they've got that. They're doing soldiers. Hey, what's up, Boat? How are you? So, you know, whatever they damage down, we can just use this to kind of heal back up, transform, get some value back that way. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Spawn two cows to the right, left. Okay, so they're going to be transforming this with... Uh, is it slave infantry? Maybe a spring on crushing traps good now, I don't know. <laughs> it could be alright to be honest. Because they could use that to kind of get some tempo back. Maybe it's not a bad counter. You hate psychology. Why? Tired. Yeah, what's going on Sonic? Helped a friend all day yesterday. Oh wow, yeah, it's really strenuous. Yeah, we're doing a trap stick. Ah uh, yeah, see? Okay, so really we want to damage down whatever lower powered stuff they've got. Transform an allied unit, yeah, so they could go here. Uh, okay, do this. We'll kill that off. I'm really trying to push for around control. <laughs> uh, but don't know how much further we can play with traps here. It's a bit weird. Are oh, you joking? Yeah, it's traps, man. They know what's to come. That's why they're trying to push hard here. They don't want to go a long round against traps. No way. Oh, we're very close on points now. Hmm. Kind of overspending here, but it's pretty important to get the round control. Getting bled could be bad for us. So I go down by six points. We're still climbing. Twenty-two to forty. Yeah, maybe I can pass. I hope this secures it. <laughs> Getting blitz is probably the worst thing with the trap stack because you spend traps and then Eldane's weaker. So, okay. So it's going to be an eight-point damage. Crushing trap. Probably passing here. I hope this. Puts us in a good spot somehow. No, no Venosial in this one. I've gone with um, Yorveth and uh, Hattori instead. And we've got all the other main guys. It's given us some points doing that. Crushing Trap was a bit sneaky there. We're still climbing as well, so they have to spend here. Something good. Wow. So they're going card down or going leader? I think we did good. 
We're gonna get leader out, isn't it? It's gonna be leader. It's great. Yes. They just make that too. It's probably okay. We just really don't want them to push into the next. <laughs> That's all we're worried about here. If they push in here, it could get a bit weird. We can still resist the bleed somewhat, but it just gets awkward. That's probably the weakest part of our deck, but other than that, it's super solid. Yeah, we need dry pass card. Is the Grim's always going to be consistent with um, Eldane later with the traps? This is dry pass. Cree. They should bleed me here, it's in their best interest. Ooh, this is great. They pass. And we got leader out. That's fantastic news. I'm very pleased. Extremely happy with this news, my friends. I mean, armor's gonna serve them good. They seem to have some armored units. I don't know how much further it's gonna go, though. Uh, we don't want squirrel now. We just wanna go traps. This secures us Eldane. We just want another trap instead of this. Rebuke's good too, fits with the unitless style. Yep, sweet. Uh, I play this first. Auto win. <laughs> well, it's our strongest point. I'd never be. I never jumped to conclusion and say I've won a match before it's won, though. I'd say that much. You never know. So what I like about Sabretooth is it starts getting our opponent to roast stack and then that can fall into Crushing Trap really nice later on. So we can get Crushing Trap with Avalak. Uh, start with Tiger. Yeah, it's just your preference, whatever you, however you'd like to play it. I thought maybe I could get a good hit with this. Alright. Pitfall could be pretty good here. I think Pitfall is just gonna get us something nice. Come on, get us something good. Blights, six points. Nice kill. Great. Froth. They're gonna go um, froth with this, that's a special. It triggers Serpent Trap. So that gives us a good Serpent Trap target. Just play it like this. Man, it was so good we got leader out, I'm telling you. That was a really good um, like push we did round one. Very happy with it. I mean, they're kind of screwed anyway with leader here. They don't have the best targets. Yeah, like, um, it's a good habit to roast stack the traps for Yaven. Ah, okay, crap. But, um, we don't have him here, so it doesn't really matter in this case, but yeah, I'd, I'd encourage you to, if you have him. He's more of a first round card with Isengrim. Yeah, four point serpent. How many do they play? One... A 
sword to outshine all of us. Go Pitbull. Yeah, it's... Well, they played one already. We'll see if they got another. Oh, this is a good one. We get eight, point, uh, eight points of damage off Pit. It's a good hit. Nice. Oh yeah, it's great. Sweet as. We're looking good here. Appearances can be deceiving. I think crushing traps the way to go here. Yep. I'll probably get a rebuke next. Rebuke um, Eldane and then Isengrim for the finish. It's gonna be like a huge point slam. Spores. Yeah. It's... Well. Whatever, it's looking good anyway for us. Yeah, sweet, sweet. It's gonna be Elday next. And we should bring it home. Should be good. A lot of points coming up. Big Elday value here. And these are good for Isengrim. It's great. They got some kind of tall punish last, like Yennefer maybe. I didn't spend that, did they? Wow, you okay? Crap. No very good value though. Mercy, I will not grant you. Mm -hmm. I know patience makes you racist. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, that's why this is an anti-control deck. That's what I've titled it, because, you know, control decks need targets, don't they? We're not giving them any. Goes Eldane. Right. It's great. Wow. Landslide. Landslide victory. It's the last card. Is it Coup? Oh, it's Vilgefort. Oh, what do we pull out? Four point unit? An interesting <laughs> wow. That's pretty solid. I'll tell you what. That's really solid. Ah, oh, damn, we bricked Ellerin. Ah, okay. Can come back to it. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Yeah, it's looking good. Sentry and spell weavers. Sounds interesting, why not? Sounds cool. I like the, re the rework they did for the troll. It's definitely played somewhat more now than before. Oh, really? Um, who do I have for traps? I got Yorveth. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm just thinking serpent trap would probably be pretty good here.
It might be worth going Hattori. Let's pull Serpent Trap. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Beautiful. No thinning for them. Now we're gonna play Scenario. Yeah, give it a Trifusion. Why not? Experiment with it. Freezes. Uh, when I used to play the game before, it would completely like get out of the whole thing and just go to my main screen on the computer. I was like, damn. <laughs> like mid different matches and stuff. So that can suck, man. Especially when you're trying to get to pro and you're like one match away or something. It can be the worst thing. Can be yeah, we don't need a rose stack here. I don't have Yaven. Oh, that's your weakest faction. Oh, you had to add. So you just said? Add popped up? Um, yeah, I was just saying that happens to me too. Yeah, yeah. Happens to me too sometimes before. Not anymore now. But um, yeah, I'd be mid-match and the whole thing would just get out of it. <laughs> so yeah, I know it's like, man... Well, we don't have... We're not going to get waylay. So we'll just get passive points. We await the signal. Till then, don't budge. Uh, looks like we got round control though. Time for you to die, Dwan. Yeah, great. That's all we're looking for. Very, very straightforward to play this deck. You just want to win round one with scenario. You pass round two. Round three, you go toxic, unitless. Give them no targets. Finish with Eldane. Simple. Stuck? Yeah, I used to get that too. Not anymore though. I don't know if it's because of the platform you're playing it on or whatever, but it can happen. That's really good that we got rid of spear tip, guys. Very good. We handled it like that. Quick, move those hooves. Both be wow, that's pretty weird too. <laughs> Enter the hmm. Yeah, we just pass now. That's it. Serpent Trap should really smash here. We just want to pull that original copy from deck so we can replay it with Yorveth. So we're looking to get the traps and Sabretooth, that's it. I did sacrifice Decree, you know, that could have guaranteed us. But maybe it was okay, because they didn't thin. Oh, so they're going to go uh, Sabbath. So they're going to pull Maxi or this. Oh, yes. Great, great. Right. Ooh. Oh, Squirrel. Wow. Okay, actually, Squirrel's not bad. Squirrel's not bad, man. I think this is the biggest threat. Just trying to think.
Because I, I'm not doing direct... Oh, well, I'm doing direct damage, actually. I got Yaven. Squirrel first defender or spear tip. Um... I could be wrong, but I'm thinking spear tip for some reason. Because... What if they're counting on that to get, um, I'm sure they're counting on that to bring, um, what's the old spear tip out of the deck? Like the other one? So if that was the only way to do it, that's pretty good for us then. Yeah, exactly. I think it was the bigger threat, wasn't it? They're giving us engines. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. They could play Siri next. I think I just want to get this out of the way. We could get a good Siri kill here. It could be Siri next. I wouldn't be surprised. It would make sense. Ah, oh, that's true, yeah. Ah, oh, it's kill Talus. So if we didn't have Squirrel, like it's, the engines would have been nice here. Let's hope they kill it. <laughs> wow. That's a big kill, man. Well, we got to be careful playing units here, though, don't we? More traps or tiger? Yeah. I wonder if Pitfall plays good now. That was a weak pit. I should go Yorvith next because they kill Squirrel, we get our engines back. Come on, play me. <laughs> play me as a special. I should probably be roast stacking these traps to be honest. Up here. Yeah, it could have been a bit of a misplay on my part. Engine value, baby, come on. They're surprisingly clean creatures. I mean, either way you look at it, Serpent Trap, even on the spring, should play decent here. In all honesty. Discarded.
Wow, they discarded Phantom. <laughs> Play Serpent for Squirrel. Serpent ambush next. Yeah, we get to kill Kelly by doing that. Should we leave it though? What if they play a special and we get a bigger kill? But then again, um, yeah, we're going to start losing value because we're playing units here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to play um, Elday now. I've misplayed a bit here guys, to be honest with you. I should have rope positioned more here. But anyway, we'll see how we, we go. That's that's a pretty sick Yaven hit, man. <laughs> wow. That was great. Another dirty deck, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you see? I told you it was good banishing um thing from graveyard. Yeah, we're we're sweet man. That worked out great guys. Damn, what a filthy deck. Oh, oh that's that's nasty. Wow, we're... Honestly, we're smashing these decks by landslide. Man. It's a, it's a nice, nice hand. I don't really mind it as it is. We could do one more click, perhaps. Well, this gives us more pings, and if there's mages, we want to kill them. But this is good control, too. Okay. We just go Serpent Trap if they stratagem something with this first move, just like the last match we had. If they go Letitia with that, we just go Serpent right away. We just get out of there. Yeah, this will help you, Jay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is like Siege reversing, maybe. This could be Siege. Yeah, I don't have Yaven, so I'm not going to roast deck. But yeah, keep that in mind, guys. If you got Yaven in a round, focus on roast stacking. Like I stuffed that in the last match. I was thinking too much about the opponent's units, that's why, you know, but... Really, um, trying to roast stack, so obviously it does more damage. But it worked out good because we had leader still, but it's just good to get into that habit of doing the right stuff. It can save you. Yeah, you could fusion. Yeah. Hey, this uh, troll. Someone was talking about it. So I think it was you fusion, wasn't it? <laughs> you spoke about it and you manifested it. <laughs> See what happens. This this will be a good test for our deck. See how we go against these guys. Yeah, so now we thin out Ellerin. It's pretty good tempo. I don't know what they're waiting on with stratagem still. He's trolling me. It's interesting. Troll. Well, Wele is good to go here. It's on four. What's this going to do? Just movement and um, bleeding, right? Probably want to get rid of this. Yep. 
AKG took your Maddox spam. Nine Maddox, what? <laughs> Tell me how the hell you did that. I need to know this. I pulled AQ with a soup and I witch a Sabbath. <laughs> Are you for real, man? Double witch a Sabbath. Oh, what? You gotta do a deck guide for that. I don't care if you're a content creator or not. <laughs> I wanna see that, man. What the hell? That's like my dream. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. Nine. Like, I've heard of six with um, NG imposter leader. Stuff like that. <laughs> that's honestly crazy. Respect. I respect it. Oh my god, that's, that's a good laugh, man. That's epic. Yeah, that's insane. Wow, you had eight before that too? You got really good high rolls, my friend. Damn. I might have some competition now. What are they waiting on stratagem for? Day, which is Sabbath. Wow. Guess this will get the five. Wow. Respect. What's up, Dichil? Redea deck? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's a meme. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, they're just leaving Silkirk there? Interesting. Wow, thanks so much, D Chill, for gifting the tier 1 sub to Dutch. You're a legend, man. You support me so much. Really appreciate it. What a top look. What if we sneak a win with trap like they pass now? They'd probably play though. They got Selkirk, what I'm talking about. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I think we're passing. This is bad. We don't want to give run control because if they bleed us, we can lose. Wow, thanks so much for the Prime subscription. My gosh, really appreciate it. Thanks. It's epic, man. Ah, I got so much love for you guys, honestly. Really appreciate it. Love your YouTube content. Nah, thank you, seriously. AKG, love your stuff on YouTube. Very good to see you here also. Thanks a lot for your support there. Hope you're gonna like this list too. Unfortunately, we're gonna see how we go here, but it's gonna look a bit rough if they bleed us. Like, we've given up round control here. You don't want to give up round control with our deck. Because traps is awkward to resist the bleed, it's hard to get points. You're welcome, Dodgy. <laughs> what a legend, seriously. Yeah. Are you on my Discord? Join, join my Discord so you can share it there. It'll be epic to see it. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how we resist this bleed now. You probably commit things like Tiger if they bleed you. Wow, doesn't bleed? 
Oh man, that could be a big mistake for them. I'm not sure why they chose that route. It's not the best line against us. Nah. No way. <laughs> I warn you guys now, if, it, if someone plays traps against you, always bleed. Never give a long round. Especially if you're a control deck. Because you can have all the damage you want, you got no targets. And we got a toxic looking hand, it's, it's great. Yeah, Isengrim and Yorvis probably what we want to hit here. Yes, yes. So... They could play, um... Maybe Rapard's... We didn't see Rapard's Vengeance. We could get a kill on it if I just go this first. Okay, so this time I've got Yaven. I gotta think row stacking traps, right? We're gonna try avoid range row because they could do all that, you know, trebuchet stuff. So we'll do this. Yeah. Hopefully we kill Vengeance first hit with this. I mean, I got Serpent Trap too. I could spring it. But we'll just see if this kills it. Doesn't. That's a decent kill. It's still an engine. Okay. Like, this is okay to be ranged because it's an artifact until we do something about it. Maybe they're doing this first to avoid, um, like, us springing Serpent Trap on something good. They know that. Ah, sweet. Good to have you with us. Yeah, you're a legend, Dutchie. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Alright, let's focus. Try to win this match here. Yeah, so like Yaven and Isengrim, they're like round one cards to help you secure uh, round control. But like I said, they transfer later. It's fine. You can play them later, it's all good. No issues. So they're not opening up with Scenario. We haven't seen Raphard's Vengeance. Have they missed cards? They've played a few um, kind of weak stuff till now. What about Pitfall now? Let's hope to get a good hit with Pit. Evening Ducky, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to my next anti-meta deck. We've been on a winning spree with this already. Haven't lost yet. We're climbing. Getting close to 2500 now with this. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's very effective right now because opponents are playing heavy control. And that doesn't do anything here when we're playing traps. So, if you're looking to rank up, I'd suggest it. It's kind of weak, eh? Why would they play that back row? I'm not sure. It's going to take damage from Tiger like that. Well, this will just die right away, but we probably want to go another pitfall because we'd ping that and kill it. A sword to outshine all of us. Uh, there's no deck list command in chat because what I do is the decks you see me stream, I end up uploading them to my YouTube channel so you can see it there if you like. Come on, kill it. Ah, oh, crap, it survived. Yeah, well... I guess it's... 
Should be this, right? Yeah, they're pretty good, McCartney, yeah. You don't get the sequencing right? Sure. Well, I'll explain it in the guide if you like to help you with it. Oh, it's going to be a good crushing trap. Wow. Oh man, we're going to take away all value here. I'm telling you. We're just going to do a clean sweep now. <laughs> they are legit screwed. Serpent trap's a bit weird now, but whatever. So they play Siege late. Like, we'll just clean this up. Wow. We know for sure Serpent Trap will get triggered from Scenario because they play Bombardment. It's a special. We can go, uh... Well, that kills Trebuchet, actually, now then. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's... Oh... Yeah, like, I don't know if I want to, it makes sense to get Eldane, really. I don't know if I want to give him too many targets, to be honest. Maybe it's just, um, Yaven. So we got, I could kill that with Yaven. I just don't want to give too many targets right now. Or should we do it? Maybe we just try to keep it unitless as possible. I'm trying to keep our units as low as possible. I just don't want to give him removal value. KG, you make this look easy. <laughs> Thanks, Chill. Appreciate it. I try my best, man. Nah, no way. Never discard Yaven here. No. Nope. You definitely want to keep him. We're just wasting points. Yeah, they hit Bombardment. Well... It's gonna be Eldane now. Dude, we got a big point finish, man. Just check this out. Check what Eldane does here now. It's gonna be crazy. Just, just watch this point swing with Eldane. You ready? Just pay close attention now. Boom. Look at that. And then imagine Isengrim now for a finish. Should be good. Uh, Elves in the same row he's played on. Gotcha. Did you slot scenario? Yeah, it's definitely got scenario. It's our way to win first round. 100%. I think we got this. I mean, we got Tiger for points for on 28. And now, Isengrim is just such a big finish, guys. Look at this. Wow. Well played, sir. I know it's not easy to verse traps. Are we climbing, guys? We're going 2,500 with this deck. Check out those points. It's great. Yeah, it's all good Dutch. No worries, man. You don't play traps really, do you? Valeria and Rivia! There's a close one. Is it a draw? No, we just win. We just win by point. <laughs> yes! We prevail, man. We prevail. Hell yeah. Oh, like just played it once, you mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. 
Okay. Thanks for the advice. So play it once and then save it. That's what you were saying. A hand was really crappy, but man. <laughs> I don't know if that was good still. Because we're getting bled there. We needed something. Yeah, hindsight's always 2020. I like talking openly, but it's good. Share your feedback, man. Let's get better. Why not? Give your best advice. A beautiful pair of legs, please. You count it as a win? <laughs> Thanks. I'm here to learn though. Ah, it's all good. Feel free to speak as well. We're all here to learn. Yeah, that's true, McCartney. You're right. Yep, yep. You know, there's a saying, always keep a beginner's mindset. Because there's few possibilities in the mind of an expert, right? You can always, you can keep learning. Doesn't matter how far you go. You just assume there's always more to be learned, right? You never want to assume you know everything. It's not it's not healthy to be that way. So it's good, you know, say your feedback. I'd really like to waylay this. I don't know if I could do that here. Because they played at Melly Row. But in saying that, we get very good restoration out of this. So maybe it's not so bad. I think it's going to be... Is it Bomber here? Yeah, we better kill this. Right. Yeah, that's true, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Green. All good, man. Like I said, I'll put a deck guide out for it, so you'll get us soon. Yeah, that's right. Always keep an open mind. Never assume you're an expert and you know it all. That's the worst approach to have to anything in life, really. You always want to be humble about things. Look for others who know more than, than you do, who are better than you. Never think you're the best at anything. Think that there's always another level, you know? Drown yourself with those damn yeah, bigger fish, that's right. I mean, we're not saying don't be confident about yourself, have faith in yourself, that's good. But we're talking in terms of like open-mindedness to learning, you know? You always want to have that like, just a humble approach. We await the signal. Till then, don't budge. It's good passive points now. Yeah, you're sharing the list there. No worries. This is why I like went more than other games. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Reach, reach beyond what the eyes see and the ears hear. They're really pushing, eh? Like spinning location. They really want round control too. I probably shouldn't have played that here because I got this still. Um, isn't Grim should take it home for us though? For the daisy of the valley! The only good human is a dead human. And I should be damaging boosted units because of their healing leader. 
That's another thing I could do better there. Would they play another card still? For real. We're up by a lot here, man. They should pass. We're talking 30 points. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, dude. It's good to see you're confident, but man. Don't want to push it. So yeah, then we just pass and you go into a long round. Simple. That's all it is. Uh, squirrel on the dry pass. Probably squirrel coral on the dry pass. Yeah, I think that's still nice. I mean, we don't want to pick that up by accident later too. You never know. <laughs> pass on even. Oh, you think the druid over coral? I mean, coral's a pretty good squirrel too. They play this back again. Um, but they haven't played Burner. Could we be at risk somehow? Take the Druid. I think they're both good either way, right? Maybe Coral's um, not so much of a threat because it's, you know we're worried about damage, but we're going unitless. So yeah, maybe you guys are right. We want to go for the boosting kind of problem because they can get ahead somehow like that maybe they replay yeah we'll go with that that doesn't become carryover now that they did that does it okay <laughs> That'd be pretty broke, eh? <laughs> I value adventures only independent of that. Yeah. Set an allied scenario. Refresh the order. Okay. It's not like uh, reset. Reset the location. <laughs> That'd be some broke stuff, man. Rebuke could be okay for Preacher. Still, if our hand's a bit weird now. Yeah, okay, I'll keep rebuke. It's still unitless. Ooh, nice. Spicy hand. It's not like those mages. <laughs> Don't you pester me. Yeah, I think I'll just go tiger first thing. Ooh, they got Heatwave for Tiger. That's right. Mm hmm. Tiger uppercut. Yeah, that's true. Getty. I think rebuke onto that's pretty good right now. If we get Sunset Wanderers out now, that's good, and I'm gonna go Serpent. Yeah, we got Serpent for it though. I'll time it. Trust me, I'm good at these things. We just gotta keep in mind, you know, like leaders playing a special card, right? So if you think about it, it should be insured. Unless they, they choose not to play some cards. That's how they work around it. Scenario would play specials, like we said. We got a few different targets. Playing that.
Yeah, of course. They'd probably play another Preacher to activate. Maybe this could be a good kill. We want Wanderers out, then I'm going to play Serpent. We want a few boost boosted units like Preachers there or whatever. We serve her who is virgin, mother yep. and crone. So they should kill Preacher now? Should be nice kill. Oh really? Okay. Interesting. Come on, bring wanderers out for me. Draw it out now, come on. Yes, there we go. Gonna have a very nice serpent trap target. Play a special for me now. We can go triple serpent if we pull another one with Hattori as well. Uh, it's pretty high priced and we tend to draw everything we need. I already tried experimenting with it. That's a great hit. Oh wow, nice. Very, very nice. They play so many specials in this deck. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, Triple Serpent's pretty deadly. Yeah, even the Preacher now. Um, we couldn't kill it because on 5, we can do 4. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go another Serpent right now. It's a pretty good crushing trap. Yep. With leader. Three points of damage, um, four in total. It's not enough. Breaches five. Three plus one. It counts itself for damage as well. Yeah, Katori. We could now that Hattori is here, but before, no. No, no, you can now. He's elf, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna go Serpent. It's, it's a nice crushing trap at back. It's gonna clean up good. Sweet. So probably kill the scald. Yaven's gonna be huge here. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, we'll see, Dutch. With that Tiger, we lost a bit of points. There's a good heat wave for them. They don't know what to do. Because <laughs> they know it's a Serpent Trap. 
Nice. Come on, let's get a good pitfall hit. So it'll probably be Yaven last, yeah. Trigger um, pitfall. Then we do Eldain. Play something big. Play a Neuromancy. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a sick hit. Wow. That's brutal. Pitfall Eldane. Yeah, it's going to be um, Eldane. That was a good pitfall, man. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Everyone has shown us the way. We just hit their biggest unit, that's all. That's like the best possible pitfall I could ask for. Honestly. Wow, it was a close finish. Yeah.